NFL Draft was wild this past weekend, and Jackson and Connor give their hot takes in JC Sports. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Allie Minton, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Seniors, today is the final day to apply for the $750 Eileen Hurley Memorial Scholarship. To qualify, a senior must have at least a 2.0 GPA, display good behavior, and submit an essay. The essay should include what Sestina has meant to the student and what sports, academics, or clubs the student has participated in. Please email or turn in a hard copy to Ms. Walsh today. You can email her at ewalsh at sestina.org. Now let's see who is celebrating a birthday. birthday. Seniors, today is also the deadline for submitting senior items for the 2021 yearbook. These items include a memory or quote, a baby photo, up to five photos for the slideshow, and your votes for the senior superlatives. The deadline is midnight. You can find links to the forms in a Canvas announcement. Please contact Mr. Tooley at ctooley at sasina.org with any questions. Let's head over to Emily who will keep us up to date with our Crusader Clubs. Thanks, Allie. The Christ Crusaders Club will meet today from 3.30 to 4.15 in the library. All are welcome to join this Bible study and learn how to better serve Christ as a modern teenager. Contact Mr. Fallon with any questions. That's it for clubs. Back to Allie for more news. Thanks, Emily. Prom will be held Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. in the West parking lot here at Cecina. This year's theme is Rustic Garden. Students will be required to wear masks, complete a COVID symptom checker, and have their temperatures screened in order to enter prom. Let's check out our lunch menu. Now to Alyssa for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Allie. Last night, the boys' golf team defeated conference rival Beach Grove, and the Eastside Crusader lacrosse team shut out Roncalli 13-0 at Roncalli. Congrats, Crusaders. Tonight, the baseball team will host Covenant Christian at 5 p.m. in a second-round city tournament matchup. The boys' golf team will be back in action in the city tournament, which will take place tomorrow during the school day. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, any guy looking to play soccer next fall should attend a call-out meeting today at 3.15 in the cafeteria. Contact Mr. Hagerty at jhagerty at sasina.org with any questions. Now, let's head over to JC Sports, where Connor and Jackson will give their hot takes on last weekend's crazy NFL draft. Welcome to JC Sports. I'm Jackson. And I'm Connor. Jackson, this past weekend, well, week and weekend, was the NFL draft. Your Jaguars had the number one pick, Trevor Lawrence. Was it? Was it a surprise? Or? Yeah. Huh. Well, the number 25th sure, pick. Sure. Stop. 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 Travis Etienne? Really? James Robinson? Dude. Shh. Stop. We suck. We know. All right. We can't draft. I know. The Jets took Zach Wilson at two. The Jets honestly had a really good draft. Yeah. In my opinion, they did. Jets had one of the best drafts. They took uh, the lineman from USC. They traded up like Elijah Vera Tucker. He's really good. They, they took another offensive lineman. I think it was a left tackle. Yeah. They built their offense around Zach Wilson. That's what we got to say. Took Zach Wilson and built around him. Now, their defense, yeah. I guess they kind of forgot that that's another part of the game, but here. They'll figure it out. Well, coaching is a big thing in Chicago. Um, well, yeah, that's true, too. Well, Chicago traded up to number 10 to select Mr. Tooley Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, Justin Fields is the next Patrick. Yeah, makes sense to me. Next are, you, are you sure it's not the next Mitchell Trubisky? Oh, okay. Well, Justin Fields, to me, he was the third best quarterback. Um, I don't know how well he's going to fit in Chicago's offense. You can talk through. <laughs> I had Lance at two and then Fields at three. Okay, we're going to 
talking about quarterbacks anymore. Well, the, who is your number two quarterback then? Uh, Zach Wilson, no. Kyle Trask. Kyle Trask. Yes, I think what? Kyle Trask is ten times better. Than Justin he went in Fields. like the fifth round. I'm sorry, but he went in the fifth round. That's why it's about to be a steal, though. Um, wait, the Colts wait. drafted uh, Quiddy Pay, uh, edge out of Michigan. I like that pick. Yeah. I. They took another edge out of somewhere. I don't know where, but never heard. They went all defense when we had like fifth best defense and we needed a left tackle. But yeah, that's all right. We'll figure it out too. Cleveland, to me, had the best draft, one of the best yep. drafts. I think they had the best one. I don't know how Jeremiah Lucifer and Will fell that far. I don't know. 50 I think the Browns were smart to pick him up, though. Yeah. Um, the Chargers had a good draft. Slater fell to 13, mm-hmm. which I didn't think he was going to fall. I didn't think Penay was going to fall to I didn't either. 7. Penay, Sewell, I thought he was going to go 5. To, yeah. um, but you were right. J.C. Horn went in front of yeah. Patrick Sertan. I told you. Um, Micah Parsons to Dallas? I don't like that. Dallas, Jerry Jones, not me. Like Dallas, Dallas is still nice. That, the whole yeah. NFC East is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bears. And, well, the Bears might win just because. No, the Aaron Bears Rogers are going to win because Aaron Rodgers is leaving the division. Yeah. That's the only reason. He's going to Denver. <laughs> like, that, that was their biggest draft steal. Justin yeah. Fields wasn't. It was. Aaron Rodgers. Justin Fields is still the dog water. Really, Mr. Tooley, the fun has to ring like me. <laughs> and that's it for this week. I'm Jackson. And I'm Connor. Thanks, guys. We know Mr. Tooley is one happy Bears fan right now. That's it for sports. Back to Allie with more news. Thanks, Alyssa. Let's check out today's forecast. That's it for today's news. Stay classy and give that little extra.